Well, if you're one of the lucky people who's using the new Office 2007 program, then you're definitely going to want to pay attention to this segment because I'm going to show you how to use the new toolbar and the new menu system that's in the program. I have to be honest, the, I'm, I'm a long-time user of Microsoft Office and the first time that I did load up Office 2007, I had a little bit of trouble navigating myself around. I had to get used to the new menu. So we thought that we'd take this segment today to sort of talk you through how to use the menus and the new, the, the new look of that. So I've got a couple of different programs loaded on the screen here. I've got a Microsoft Word document. I've got a conference uh, agenda set up for a meeting that I'll be going into. And I've also got a spreadsheet here as well, which shows the current inventory of something. I just have these two up on the screen in order to show you how the menu works. What we really want to focus in on here is the top part of the area, the, the, what used to be a much smaller menu before. You can see that now it's a little bit different than what it used to be. First of all, it takes up a lot more real estate. One of the reasons why we can do that is because monitors are getting so much bigger now that we can afford to take up more room for menus. But you'll also, you'll also notice that the menus are quite different in terms of the name and terminology that we've used in the past. First of all, one thing that you have to know what this little button here at the top does. It's a very important button. It's called the Office button and you're going to find it similar in all the applications. If you click on it, this is actually where you do things like create a new document, open a document that you have on your hard drive, or save your document, as well as your print and even emailing. So this is a very important place in terms of starting or finishing uh, whatever it is you're working on. When you're actually in the application and you're working on a few different things, you're going to want to be able to use the different features. And I'm just going to show you a few things that I found so intuitive about the new menu system. First of all, you can see that I've clicked on the cell here for Microsoft Excel. Well, what's interesting is in the past, if you wanted to resize the font, you simply click on the down, the drop down button and you choose what font you want. Well, what I found interesting about this, and it works the similar across all the different buttons, is as I go through the different sizes, you can see that it actually resizes it. Now, this isn't going to change it, it's just showing me what happens when I resize it and I can go through and I can actually decide what size it is that I want. And where this works great is if you're doing menus or headings and things like that and you want to see what it looks like. Very similar if you want to do it for different fonts, you can see, well actually this one's hidden underneath, but as I go through these different fonts, it shows me what that looks like. And similar for if I wanted to change the color, here's an example of changing the color. As I scroll over these, I can find the color that makes the most sense and then I can actually apply it by clicking on it. Let's look at Microsoft Word for, an example, for a second. Couple different menus, obviously, than Microsoft Excel, but again, if we're going to use the insert, now it takes up all this real estate to make a real nice graphical interface to show me what it is I'm inserting. Tables, pictures, clip arts, charts, whether I want to put a hyperlink in, uh, headers and footers, all of this stuff that used to be somewhat buried before or hard to go after, they've made it very intuitive to look for. So you might feel a little bit uncomfortable when you first start using the Office program, when you sit down in front of it for the first time, but take one of the built-in tutorials or spend a little bit of time experiencing some of the new toolbar layout because you're going to find it, it really changes the way that you use the program. And definitely don't forget, because everyone asked me about this, click the Office button because that's where you see all of the previous used documents as well as your files saving, opening, and new.